Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as both great houses stand their ground and turn away the newcomers to the island. KOTT News crews were in Brightwood last night and spoke with a Dawn Guard representative about their fight. I mean, we knew it was going to happen. They said we were hiding. They said we were scared. Some things like that that uh, copers would say. They decided to come to us finally and attack our territory. Uh, not the main one, the side one. Let me add you. Uh, it wasn't even Winsward. Uh, I don't think they're ready for that. I don't even think they're ready for Brightwood. But, yes, uh, they did come after us. We held them off as expected. Uh, you guys are not that good, average at best. I don't think you should do it again. If you do, we'll be excited to play you again. It was a fun war. Uh, but, yeah. There was a long fight for B in Restless Shore last night. We asked Stronghold leadership to take us through it. We got to rewatch some bugs from those points. Um, a little bit of miscommunication initially, and uh, I'm not sure if we accurately conveyed the numbers there. But uh, I think we lost a pretty fair engagement on C and decided to uh, just fight him in mass on B. I see you've also maintained the Hamlet infrastructure. Care to talk about that? Absolutely, absolutely. We're, uh, we're going to keep putting up those town boards and uh, trying to bring some more profit into this town. You know, uh, got the arcane at least at three, so you can at least convert your moats there for easy territory standing. And, uh, you know, we put up the chef bonus here and there for uh, everyone to get extra food. Everyone loves free food. And is there anything else you want to tell the citizens of Eternum? Uh, until next time, guys. Standing trade offer. If, uh, if you guys want to catch these hands, push restless. Until next time. And with that, both great houses threw down their gauntlets. Turning to the weather and after a beautiful morning all day long again, late evening invasions will begin to rise around the edges of the island. So plan your travel accordingly. For simulated fantasy combat resolution on tap for tonight, brought to you by LARPCO, Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Up first, the Marauders of Hundo's Fan Club assault the Covenant forces of Milked Regime for the Bamboo Forest Reserves and Medicinal Hot Springs of Ebenscale. Little is known about Hundo's Fan Club, nor Hundo themselves, but the last time a fan club attacked, they won. The forces of Milked Regime no doubt recall the moment as their brethren of the Loyalists fell, so they won't be taking things lightly on the Reach. Then, the Covenant forces of Gilded Outlaws attack the Marauders of Dropouts in their effort to claim the financial capital of Windsward. Gilded Outlaws have been making various attempts to secure land around the island, but this is their first attempt on Windsward. The forces of Dropouts have held the region for nearly a month and have faced only one or two serious threats. So how will tonight turn out? Meanwhile, the Covenant forces of Booty Clapital assail the Syndicate forces of Hooded Outcasts for control of First Light and its abundant flow of spice. Booty Clapital once again attempting to secure a capital on the island, this time going for the abundant hyssop of First Light. Hooded Outcasts have held the region for well over a month, turning away all religious sects that have attempted to take control of the flow of spice. In the nightcap, the Covenant forces of Eternal Stand challenge the Syndicate forces of Black Wolf's Company for their championship title and the right to rule over Everfall. The newcomers of Eternal Stand step into the ring in their bid to claim the championship belt. A win tonight by the champs will move them into a tie for third place on the all-time Neverfall list, currently held by the Reckoning with five. We'll have the outcomes and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.